What is going on everybody? Matthew Schnoes, the Gold Crease Guardian here. Welcome back to the channel. Excited to bring you this video because my mask is being replaced. This is my first mask out of college. Uh, my college one, if you haven't noticed already, is back on the fireplace back there. Really nice mask as well. But this, my first mask with New Jack's airbrush, is being replaced because I finally have my brand new custom mask in. I cannot wait to show this to you guys. Let's get right into it because this is really, really exciting stuff for me. We're gonna start off, it's a Warwick. I've wanted a Warwick mask my entire life. Uh, growing up, guys like Ed Belfour and Marty Turco were wearing it. Ryan Miller, one of my all-time favorite goalies, wearing the mask. And so, finally got myself a Warwick mask custom here in Michigan. Super excited to have this, finally. So let's, let's show you what I got. Here we go. Started off, it's a Miller shell. The Miller shell is a little bit longer, a little bit thinner face kind of style. Um, I actually loved the Miller shells growing up because, well, Ryan Miller wore them and I loved Ryan Miller. So it kind of worked out for me that way. Um, I did have a couple of things done a little bit differently in here. The chin is just a little bit shorter, allows me to look down a little bit easier. Also, we shaved a little bit off here in the back um, to make sure that I can look around on my shoulders a little bit nicer. Gary was fantastic during this whole thing. Uh, just great to work with, really, really good at what he does. I mean, I loved every second of this, getting this fitted, getting up there twice to first try on a bunch of different masks, see some of the old stuff, like my old boss Jeff Lurg's mask was in there. Um, Thomas Grice has a couple, Hasek had a few in there. Just really loved it. So it was a ton of fun to go up there twice. I got D3O padding. You can see the orange right here. The D3O, just to give it a little bit more impact absorption. I'm looking forward to getting this on the S. I cannot wait. It fits so, so well. As for the paint job, if you followed me on Instagram, which the link is down below, I've been keeping you guys updated a little bit on this as it's happened. Um, New Jack's airbrush, uh, Kyle Conant, a fellow e-bug, he actually made it into a game backing up for the St. Louis Blues last year which was really, really cool. Um, if you missed that story, I think Bonesy has a video about that where they talk on Bonesy's uh, YouTube channel. So check that out as well, because that was a really, really awesome experience for both of them. And so yeah, eBugs working together on this helmet. I wanted to go with something in the style of Frederick Anderson's Stadium Series mask from this year, where it was very detailed underneath, but from afar, it was just a black mask with the Red Hurricanes logo. I thought that was really, really cool. So I went with silver with my own Gold Crease Guardian logo and blue because obviously the t colors of my team. I'm a big Star Wars guy. In case you haven't noticed, I love Star Wars. It's a huge thing. I decided to go with four characters from Star Wars, and specifically the Clone Wars. Uh, just a great show. If you're a Star Wars fan and you haven't seen it, watch it, it's worth it. It really is. And so I went with Maul and Obi-Wan on one side, Anakin and Ahsoka on the other side, all sketched on there. Grayscale, beautiful drawings done by Kyle at New Jacks to kind of just have them on there give them the appearance of being almost etched into the stone of the helmet, which is the goal of this. Um, beautiful, beautiful mask. Got a little bit of the cracking and detail around it as well, which I love. So going with a little more personal design this time because it is just a personal mask and I wanted to have some fun with it. My Star Wars theme, always good, but I wanted to add some of my personal touches to the front of the mask because I normally reserve those for the back plate I had a lot of things I wanted to put on here, lots of detail. So for me, I started with band logos. Um, the band logos that normally go on the back of my helmet are now kind of etched into stone around here. I think it's a really cool look. Kind of starting at the bottom here, Avenged Sevenfolds logo, my all-time favorite band. 
Love those guys, seen them in concert a few times and just love all of their music. So had to get that one on there again. They've been on all of my masks. Ice Nine Kills, who was added to my most recent mask that you see on the channel all the time. They're a fantastic metalcore band. I really like those guys. They've kind of hit a horror movie vibe with their latest couple of albums. Not really my niche, but I love the music still. So it works, even if I'm not a horror movie fan. On the front, Breaking Benjamin's logo, another one of my favorite bands. Uh, just seen these guys a few times in concert as well, and they're really, really good. Uh, a Day to Remember here on the other side, really great band. Love their stuff. They've been around forever. They're so much fun to listen to for different reasons, and a couple of those albums are up there in my all-time favorites. And then We Came as Romans who started as a local band, actually, but they've gotten pretty big now in the metalcore scene. Fantastic new album. If you're into that kind of stuff, you can go check that out. And um, just love that in there. And I love that, especially on a couple of these logos, it looks like the cracks kind of run into them. I think that that's a really special look and just something that's really, really fun. Going on to the bottom, the chin of my mask. Now you can see this etched in kind of area where I have some writing around the outside. And then I have a couple of snowflakes. The, the snowflakes themselves were a personal touch I put on my college mask. Um, right on the side, one of the seals of Adrian College was peeling up to reveal a couple of snowflakes. I thought it'd be a cool personal touch on a helmet that was very team focused. Uh, so I forgot to put those on my last mask. Put them back on this one, right on the chin in that little uh, area that I created. And then my number, 92, in there as well. It's a fun number to have. Birth year, a little bit different number for a goalie. It's also 29 reverse, so it kind of works. And then around the outside, that writing, the uh, universal writing in Star Wars. So around this, it actually says my, my last name on the top, Schnoes, and then one play, one shot, one save goes around the outside. That's something that I've talked a little bit about recently on the channel. It's a mantra that I've kind of added to myself and to my game in the last couple of months and I find it really works. So I'm adding it to the mask because I want to keep that top of mind and I feel that that's really important. So wanted that on there and I thought that it would look really cool kind of in there with everything else. So that is the front of the mask just with all of my detail and everything I'm really excited about. So on to backplate where I put the really personal stuff on both of my other masks. Since this one's incredibly personal, I still went personal on the backplate, but I've got some of the other stuff around the front. For me, this is always the most fun part of a mask because you can kind of mess with things, give a cool look. Um, Jedi Fallen Order, the video game, had a promotional poster that was released with a lightsaber that kind of lit up some writing around on a stone etched carving, which is kind of where I got this whole idea in conjunction with the Freddie Anderson mask. And so I created that, I had that done on the back plate. Um, the lightsaber is actually the lightsaber I made when I was down at Disney at uh, Star Wars Land a few years ago, having some fun with that. Blue, sticking with the theme of the mask and also favorite lightsaber color, um, but Really cool to have that on there. Thought that was a lot of fun. I've got the two Red Wings logos flanking either side of it as the e-bug for the Red Wings or one of them because there are three of us. Um, I wanted to have that on there, have a little fun with the Red Wings logo. I tried to get it somewhere on the front of the mask, but it just made it look too busy with how much I was trying to put in and the way I wanted it to look. Uh, also have the Polar Bears logo on there because you know, men's league team, got to get them on there. And then I've got a cross on there as well. Uh, always have one of those on my mask. And the final thing around there, the writing around the outside of the uh, lightsaber is something that my dad used to say before every game. Um, whether it was in the getting out of the car or once I started driving, he would send me a text when he knew I was getting to the rink. Um, basically, every single game, he would say, be strong, stay square, no matter what happens, we love you. So I've put that on my last two masks, obviously still had to put it on this one. 
He always sent that to me, never failed, even when he's lived in Japan. Every single game day, I got that text message. So I've always put that on there. It's always been kind of a thing for me to have just a personal touch. Really means a lot to me. So that also made it onto the mask. And that pretty much does it. That is the mask, my brand new Warwick Miller shell. Thanks again to Warwick and to New Jack's Airbrush, Kyle Conan. Um for just knocking this out of the park. The matte finish is fantastic. It came out awesome. I cannot wait to get this onto the ice and you guys will see that. So look forward to that in the next couple of videos.